Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you HTML list. Once again, I repeat the topic HTML lists. So, what is an HTML list? HTML list are used to present the list of information in a well-formed or a semantic way. So, HTML lists are used to present uh, the list of information in an organized manner. There are three types of lists in HTML. What are they? First one is unordered list, ordered list, and description list. First one is unordered list. What is an unordered list? So used to group a set of related item in a non-particular order. There won't be any order in this item. You are going to group a uh, related information, but no specific orders. Ordered list. By name itself, you can able to identify the list is ordered. Used to group a set of related item in a specific order. Now you are going to group a related items in a specific order. The next one is a description list. You used to display a list of terms and their descriptions. So, how many types of lists are there in HTML? Unordered list, ordered list, and description list. Let me see one by one. So, an unordered list. So, an unordered list is created using the UL tag. UL stands for unordered list. And each list item starts with LI tag. So, once again, I repeat what is unordered list. An unordered list is created using UL tag. And each list item starts with LI tag. And here you can see the example. And I'm moving to ordered list. So, an ordered list is created using OL tag. OL stands for ordered list and each list item starts with LI. So here you can see an example. So only difference between the OL and UL is the name. OL UL, using UL here, right now you are using OL right here. So what is a definition list? A definition list is created using DL tag and DL tag is used in conjunction with DT that is defines the term in the list and DD de description describes the items in the list so where you will be having definition list and then we will be having DT and then we will be having DD okay so right now we are going to see an example for this so in order to do this we need to open notepad so I'm going to open a notepad where we are going to type our HTML code. So this is a notepad. So where we are going to type the HTML code. So followed by HTML and then head. Inside head, you want to use title. So let us say example for HTML list. So close the title and then you want to close the head tag and then I want to open the body tag and close the body tag and then close the HTML. Now this is syntax for all HTML. Now where we are going to do the changes in between the body tag. So first I am going to use heading h1. So let us say example for unordered list. So close h1. So how to use unordered list? UL followed by list item let us say milk and close li let us say li this is sugar and close li and next one let us say li t close li and then we will use another list item li and then let us say 
coffee and close ally and then close ul so again i am going for another h1 let us say example for ordered list close h1 and then open the order list ol and list item i'm going to use the same copy paste and close ol so now i'm going to save this i'm going to save in desktop let us say ex1.html and then all files and save it now we'll check where is the file ex1 here is there just try to open it so now you can see it's an example for an ordered list it's an example for ordered list now if you want to change the list type it's very simple so here i'm going to use ol type equal to capital a so now we'll ch check out what is going to happen now see the order has been changed abc now if you need a small a so change it now you can see now the list has been sorted using small abc now if you want to use roman letters just type i and now you can see so the way you want you can able to change it by using the type the same can be implemented in unordered list but here type equal to let us say circle so now see it's a circle and you can change it to square save and see it has been changed so now next one is dl so dl and followed by so so what is the syntax dl followed by dt and then dd so let us say dt let us say milk close dt let us say dd so let us say milk is used in t so close dd so if you want to open another dt no problem use another dt let us say sugar and close the dt and another dt let us say sugar is used in t so close dd and close dl so let us say i'll put an iphone in here and save it and we'll check the example now you can see this is an example for definition list so now we have seen an example for an ordered list ordered list and then definition list or description list so now i'm going to do a little bit modification so what i'm going to do is after this i'm going to add hr horizontal ruler in order to make it better look so now you can see when you add hr horizontal ruler, ruler you can see the two lines so again i'm going to 
add one more red chair horizontal ruler and for definition list okay so I'll add one more h1 tag okay so let us say we'll have just an HR now we'll check out the difference so now this is an example for ordered list unordered list and definition list or description list I think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video bye